Hey, AMC family. I'm just following up, just taking a look from outside looking in. So, you know, <clears throat> I just want to take a look here and just try to tell some people of psychological warfare. People will go out of their way to discredit you so they feel better about themselves. This has been going on since the beginning of the movement. People have went out of their way to try to sabotage other people's YouTube and do other things to try to create them as the best, right? It's all a competitive tactic. Now you think about how people made it to the top, like just being okay with just trashing people's names and discarding them and, and doing whatever they need to do. Something not right up there about it when you really think about it. It's okay, like whatever it happens, I just want everybody to be aware of it because it's going on so frequently throughout the community and it's nonstop. I click on a YouTube channel. It's maybe, you know, it's, you know, good news travels faster and, uh, or bad news travels quicker than good news. And that's a fact. But regardless of the matter of whatever anybody has got going on now, it's sort of like, I take a look, you know, it was ape father fighting with so-and-so, uh, calling out so-and-so commander 35, calling out people fighting with ape father. I mean, it's been like a complete soap opera. Um, you know, and in reality, like, you know, it's keeping the stock alive and people are getting entertained by it because it's just sort of what people like to do. People like drama and people will click on your channel and create this possibility where they're able to see, oh, so and so's talking about so and so or now there's allegations of this and just take in consideration what is a fact and what is an allegation because if you don't have substantial evidence of why things are happening the way they are, maybe it's other people doing it and creating the chaos within other people's lives. Maybe these people had good intentions to try to bring to you to try to create change. Then the nastiness of the world has came into play to try to stop these things. And just just take that all into your mindset whenever you watch a video. Don't Don't wholeheartedly believe anything that you see. You know, like when Trump was stating fake news, you know, just look at it as fake news. You know, if, if there's something you can get from it, then that's great. But at the end of the day, you don't have to believe any of it. And that's a choice. It's called critical thinking. And, you know, it, there's there's systems and places and processes created in place for people to be able to notice these things and, and or to, you know, to handle these things or, or to address them. So essentially, you know. If you hear something about somebody, you can't go just spread more information. A lot of YouTubers do that. They'll be like, oh, did you hear about so-and-so? And then one thing will hit the community, and it'll just spread like wildfire. Then they're spreading false information amongst millions of people because they have so many followers. And, like, fucking quit. Like, please, please only come with factual information if you're presenting it to the masses. If not, you're working for the other side. I'm in this to try to create change and positivity and quality of life. I've been through a lot of shit. I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm putting my face on the camera because I don't give a fuck. You know, and I'd like to try to live a happy life. I don't let other people impact the way I feel anymore. I've overcame a lot of that stuff. And that's by choice. Happiness is a choice. To listen to others is a choice. You choose to do or, or take in or receive anything that comes into your mind. You want to play something negative and believe it, then you choose to believe those things. You have the power. Ultimately, it stems with you. So, you know, we could create all this hate, FUD, all that stuff. You know, like I said, my channel is just trying to be out of straight love, straight positivity. I get on Twitter feeds. Everybody's a shill. I got kicked out of a group the other night. And I messaged the guy. And I like the guy. You know, and I understand his his, you know, defense behind, you know, bringing any kind of information in. But at the end of the day, you know, I asked him for an apology. He apologized, you know, and that's what it should be about. You know, people make mistakes. Not one person in this whole fucking community is perfect. Not one person is God. Like everybody seems to think, oh, lose God or this. So oh God, nobody's fuck. Everybody's a human being. Everybody has things that happen behind the camera and things in their lives that they go through. It's called being a human. Why do you think people with fame always say, oh, you wouldn't want this? 
because they have to upkeep this image. They care about what people think so much because when the masses get a hold of any bad information or the paparazzis or anything of that nature, they shut them down and shit on them. Put them right out of business. The whole fucking camera system can put you out of business by people just finding shit about you and destroying you as a human. And that's the truth. I don't really care. I just think it's, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to spread information, awaken people's minds, and I hope that if you're able to get some information from me, then that's great. You know, I I just see so much BS on here. And like I've literally watched this stuff for months now. And it it's, you know, it's been inspirational. And then I get, you know, heats of it's traumatic, it's drama, and we'll go through phases. But, you know, I feel empowered to be able to say stuff about stuff because I'm able to see things, you know. And not everybody's going to be completely real with you. People will push their motives, agendas, whatever they may be, you know. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But at the end of the day, like, who cares? You know, you find some people that you confide in, that you can trust, And if we could all get together on a platform to create positive change for the mass majority as a group to have collective thoughts and ideas as shareholders or whatever it may be for positivity and good in the world, then we could create change. But as long as it's sort of like, you know, neighborhoods have been separated from amongst each other. This is all like, it's just, it's crazy. Just believe me. Like when I say like, Chaos makes money. Chaos makes money. And I don't want to create chaos. I want to shed light. I really do. You know, like I say, happiness is a choice. You choose to be happy, you know. Um, But, you know, it takes a lot of self-work for that. A lot of self-development, critical thinking, understanding other people, looking through shit, deciphering what's good for you and what's not. That's a whole process in the matter. But please be aware of these things that are happening throughout the AMC community. I don't know too much about the GME community, but I support what they're doing. They sort of, you know, they're a strong team and, you know, I consider them apes as well. But, uh, you know, you know, people are going to make money. That's what that's the YouTube is about, you know, but they're spending their hard earned time editing videos. I mean, I'm just doing it on a phone. Yes, I have a camera. I have a mic. I'm not setting all that shit up right now because I don't care. If you'd like to join my channel, if I have some information that I'm able to bring to you that that helps you think better about the situation and helps you get through your day-to-day, then that's what I'm here for. I don't care about the fancy spotlights and all the other stuff, which we could set up, we could do that, and that's great. But, you know, I don't need the flashiest image to get my message across. And uh, that's why I respect Lou in the matter, because... You know, Lou has, you know, he goes from his phone. There's a couple other people that do that. You know, even Frankie. I I like Frankie. You know, he takes other people's information. He brings what he can find through it. And that's that's good. You know, and and he he wants to know everybody's feedback. Um, You know, uh, Phil for real. He's cool. You know, I like him. He sits back. He he laughs about the situations. And uh, he's cool, dude. Uh, Matt Kors, you know, he's always been. He's had a lot of bullshit he's had thrown at him. And essentially, he sat back and he's addressed it. He's handled it calmly. He didn't let other people's opinions impact him. That takes a lot for a person and an individual with millions of people watching to not care. And uh, I commend him on that. Trey Trades, you know, it took a lot for him to stand up and be like, hey, you know, uh, yeah, I've been making money. I haven't always been right. That takes That takes a human being to do that. A human being that understands that they're not perfect. This is just a camera. Everybody has the opportunity to turn one on and to create a following crowd and could monetize off of it, which is awesome. But just remember, everybody's a human being. No matter where they're located at in the world, they all have their differences. They all have different beliefs. And they all are here for the same thing. Um, But I appreciate all you guys, man. I really do. I just want to try to create content a little more. I'd like to have a YouTube channel, you know, a little bit and be able to have some followers. But at the end of the day, like I said, you don't have to like it. You can like it. I appreciate it if you like it. But uh, yeah, so have a good day, everybody. Um, I hope everybody stays positive. If you're feeling down about situations, there's great groups on Twitter that are able to help you. They're able to bring, you know, positivity to the group. 
I've really watched, listened in on some of them groups, and they've given people hope to get through this. Um, I appreciate everyone again, like I said, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for everybody. And, uh, you know, if we are able to make money throughout this process, I hope you do something good with it. Give back to your communities, do something right, and uh, help some people, man. God bless you all. And uh, if you can, hit like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, please leave any comments in my drop feed. I appreciate you guys. All right, later.